one of the things I, I really enjoyed with this piece was to try and find the, the cracks <laughs> in the innocent, innocent surface of the harp. Um, so you've got all these buzzing things that happen with the pedal and you know, moving them rapidly up and down. Because one of the challenges in writing this piece was you, you, are, you asked me to write a short piece for the harp, a 50 second piece, and in the end it's four minutes. And it's like, what do you do in that time? You know, it's a challenge. It's like, what? <laughs> it's a birthday. And I thought one of the things, because we've worked together for many, many years now, and your harp writing is always so, so beautifully crafted to the instrument. I wanted, I wanted for me as a birthday gift to expand mm -hmm. that language a little bit. And one of the things you do with the harp, which is great, is you find those cracks, you find those middle sounds and those middle space and the connections mm -hmm. between these strings. The, the harp being such a um, sort of vertical instrument, if you like, you, you found the horizontal in it, which is really interesting but really challenging because it means that you've got to think about the space of the notes quite yeah. differently with this one. Okay, that, that's, a, that's an amazing way of describing it because that for me was a challenge, is to find the, the places where the sound is morphing and transforming. Um, and for me, it's, it's, it's like trying to shift from the fairy tale image of the harp into something a little bit darker, perhaps sinister, more, uh, yeah. Which is, I've been talking about this for years because there is this image of the harp, of what I call the nymphs and shepherds. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all Bambi and waterfalls and, and butterflies and it's, it's beauty. But it does have this other side and it, it's a dark side, but it's also just, it's bringing out the full expression of this very big, very heavy, very large instrument that can do so many things. And we were talking earlier about the whole fairy tale idea. And I was telling you about when I was studying French at school, that we, we studied Bruno Bettelheim and his, his sort of psychosexual interpretations of all these fairy tales. And of course, fairy tales do have this bright, cheery, red riding hood bouncing along on a, on a country path. But underneath that, there is this sinister element. So this, this ties together the, the obvious and the essential as well. Okay, in both the fairy tale and the heart. Let's hear a bit more of this wolf. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the opening uh, of rope music. <laughs> 